one of the services we have to bring to this Muslim community in this place, in this time, is we have to overcome this tendency to engage in gotcha Islam. What do I mean by that? We have to be a community that is not punitive in its orientation. A community that does not want to punish, that does not relish the idea of punishment. Gotcha. But a community that always, even in punishment, and Islam has punishments, but even in that, always wants to build human beings up. Never wanting to tear them down. And I'm going to even go out on a bigger limb, or on a, what do you call it, a weaker limb, and say this. Many of us are carriers of an authoritarian, dictatorial impulse. And you know where we got it from? 200 years of dictatorial, authoritarian, tyrannical rule in Muslim countries throughout the world. And many of us have imbibed this as the prism through which we now see Islam. Islam as social control. And many of these places want to use Islam as a social control because if you control society, then society can't control you. And many of us, unbeknownst to ourselves, have imbibed this. And therefore, our tendency is to want to pounce, is to want to be punitive in our orientation. And I'm not here to argue this anything goes Islam. This, this is nonsense. But let me just share one example of this from the Sunnah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. A man comes to the Prophet and says, Oh Rasulullah, and by the way, this is in Sahih Muslim. This is not some lost hadith. This is Sahih Muslim. Comes to the Prophet and says, What? Oh Rasulullah, I have committed a sin. So apply the punishment of the book of God to me. He says this to the Prophet. You know what the Prophet said to him? Didn't you just make salat with us? Didn't you just offer the prayer with us? He said, yes. The Prophet said what to him? You have been forgiven. You have been forgiven. Now many of us are uncomfortable with this kind of stuff. Because they see it as what? Opening the door wide open for all kinds of indiscretion. But we have to understand that the Prophet wasallam was a man who was dedicated to producing strong, empowered, confident Muslims. Muslims who would take Islam for themselves, own it for themselves, and go on to be all that they can be. This is the kind of community that we have to become. We have to support one another. We have to be there for one another. And we cannot be serious about serving society at large if we're not serious about serving each other. 